Hello, I'm Nelson Davis, your co-host for Making It TV Presents, and I'm an advocate for small business in America. And I'm Lynette Romero, a television reporter in Los Angeles and a big fan of entrepreneurs everywhere. You know, the other day I heard a man say something interesting. He said that in our society, the most valuable thing is not money, it is energy. And you know, Lynette, he has a point. Everything we do is connected to energy in one form or another. Absolutely true, Nelson. We use energy to light our cities, warm our homes, cook our food, wash our clothes, and power our computers. Well, when most people think about energy, they think about a company like Southern California Edison that provides for all of those needs. But all businesses use and need the energy of relationships. For example, if your high-rise in Puerto Rico is damaged in a hurricane, or a highway in Siberia is collapsing, or a Bakersfield High School has to be built, do you have a relationship with a firm that can do all of that? Who are you going to call? SC Anderson is the company they all called. It's a good thing Southern California Edison has a relationship with them. When their workers were cut off by the huge Northridge quake back in 1994, they called the company who has done and can do it all. SC Anderson, within hours, the Southern California Construction Company was flying in their own workers and their helicopters with crews to repair the damage and food and supplies for the stranded workers. SC Anderson to the rescue. No wonder they were eventually awarded Supplier of the Year. I have been nominated seven times in 20 years by Southern Cal Edison in the category five, which is the $50 million and over category. A lot of competition, a lot of great competition. So I never go into it expecting to win. And this year I was up against Magic Johnson. So I didn't even write a speech because I knew it was going to be eight times nominated. <laughs> so I was very surprised and it was I, I couldn't even talk when I got up to get my award. I cried. It was, it was uh, very emotional and it was exciting. S.C. Anderson had humble beginnings as a small regional company in 1983, and they've grown to a full-service construction firm. They specialize in general construction, design build, and construction management services for schools, healthcare facilities, and multifamily housing. Today we're visiting uh, Calabasas High School where uh, about 28 months ago, our company, F.C. Anderson, was uh, the successful bidder on uh, getting the performing arts contract. It's an $18 million performing arts complex for the high school students. It was a bond measure, and uh, it's been an exciting job for us. S.C. Anderson is at the helm of six other companies that all cater to various needs in the construction industry. They continue to do work nationwide, having completed projects in 22 states. And to do that, you need a team of exceptional people. I've got exceptional project managers that manage each job. It's, every job is like its own little business. Each job has its own budget. They have its own schedule that they have to stay on. Uh, and the office is just a support to the job site. They're like their own little town. They're responsible for this job and this job's budget, getting it done on time and getting it done on budget. As a full service construction company, they are a prime contractor. SC Anderson gives great regard to the privilege of hiring subcontractors. I'm looking for subcontractors that ideally are successful and have been business for years and have a good financial stability. Um, it's a big bonus if they are a diverse company such as ours, um, have, have bonding capacity, uh, that's also a plus, um, and have good work quality and work ethics. On a job like this we probably have 35 subcontractors, but we're talking large subcontractors, uh, the steel and the masonry, uh, the electrical contracts. Um, those are huge. Those are our three large ones. And then the HVAC, the air conditioning, heating, um, those are huge. The lighting, especially as performing arts. Uh, as you can see, we're standing right here under all the curtains. This is all huge. The curtains are very expensive. 
Such expansive growth does not come without direction and focus. Each year, the company develops a fresh business plan. They review the current trends and evaluate what their customers' needs are. We have to be forward thinking all the time on how we're going to support this, you know, what we created here. Southern California Edison has watched the company grow as they have been a client since the very beginning. We've done probably 22 service centers. Uh, they're maintenance service centers for Edison. Currently we're doing Big Creek, which is an administration building for Edison, and that's up at Shaver Lake. And uh, we have done work for Southern Cal Edison for, for probably the 30 years we've been in business. Our relationship with Southern Cal Edison started with a job in Tulare where uh, my partner was working on uh, a Tulare service center with another construction company. And, and we, we met the gentleman that was the inspector for Edison and he introduced us to the right people when we started SC Anderson within Southern Cal Edison and we just made sure that we were on that uh, contractors list and then we started actively pursuing Southern Cal Edison as far as bidding and once we got our first job then it's like having your foot in the door you do quality work and you'll get invited back. SC Anderson manages projects as large as eight million dollars with jobs having that much at stake, it may give one pause for reflection. We've had some wonderful job opportunities extended our way, and it's been exciting but yet terrifying at the same time. It's you're putting your name, your reputation out there, and you want to do a good job. You don't want to fail. You want to go for it because you know you can, and then you want to make sure that you do a good job and that you do prove yourself right, that you're worthy. Leanne shares with us some of her advice as a result of her journey sustaining a thriving business for over 30 years. You need to have a really strong banking relationship because your banker needs to be your best friend that you can count on. You need to have a really uh, strong bonding relationship, meaning your insurance company. Uh, you, can, you can call on your insurance company and tell them you really want to look at bidding this job, but you, 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 need, the, you need to stretch. Uh, and thirdly would be a management team. You've got to have people you can count on. Leanne says her company's like a real-world app for construction. I would say I'm really proud of our diversity. It's unusual to have six companies under one helm and to be able to handle all these different phases of construction because it's like I have an app for that. It's like I can, I can help that problem, whether it be noise or or water damage or, you know, um, anything electrical. We can help with that. Leanne Anderson mentioned how important her employees are to their company's growth. Once again, we see the importance of building and maintaining relationships in business to motivate her workers for the long term. Leanne holds training seminars each month, which qualifies them for promotions. And when employees hit the 10-year mark, she awards them a gold ring. They're currently worn by more than half her staff. And coming up next, homeless and still getting straight A's in school. Who will help them have a bright future? Stay tuned to find out when Making It TV Presents returns.